Welcome back, True Seeker. ESPN, originally created as a baseball network, cuts from Sports Center to Cubs Dodgers for the potential no hitter. And old Albert Pujols is up at the plate and he strikes out. They're now one out from the no hitter, and you have number 46 on the mound for the Cubs. If you followed me for any amount of time, for the better part of the last decade, I've been teaching about rig no hitters in rig major league baseball and the number 46 specifically and we've talked about the chicago cubs in these so many times because in gematria chicago equals 46 so does no hitter and uh, back in 2016 go back and look at jake arietta's no hitter when he was with the cubs back then big 46 ritual and um there's been so many since all these no hitters this season. Did a video on it probably a month and a half back, a couple months back. All the big 46 rituals and the no hitters this season. And this has been an MLB season full of no hitters. So, bottom of the ninth, two outs, runner on first. No balls, two strikes. And, um,. It's funny because there it is. That's the no hitter with 46 on the mound. What's funny about this though, is that tonight the starting pitcher, it was 137 days after his birthday, which is the 33rd prime number. And the Cubs came in with 33 losses. So as a team, they stayed on 33 losses. Again, the starting pitcher, 137 days from his birthday, the 33rd prime. Of course, 33 is real big with the Freemasons, and today is Freemasonry's birthday. Modern Freemasonry turned 304 years old today, established June 24th, 1717, in the Banking District of London, the independent city-state like D.C. and the Vatican. But um, you want to know who's behind these rituals and who sets it up? Again, look to the powerful entities in the nation's capital. You always see these championship teams meeting with the president, and there's one more 46 no hitter ritual. Thanks for uh, letting me keep this up, ESPN. Appreciate that you guys aren't into censorship. Thank you.